Praise Lord. Uh, we all can read together Psalms 103, first five verses together. Ready? Praise the Lord, my soul, all my inmost being, praise his holy name. Praise the Lord, my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases. Who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with the love and compassion. Who satisfies your desires with the good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. Praise the Lord. I thank Lord for this uh, wonderful morning. Lord's day come to his presence to praise him and worship him. Especially I thank Lord for uh, God giving us, enable us to come as a family with my children and come over here and, you know, praise the Lord. Uh, we all see that, you know, we are uh, living in a unpeaceful uh, world, praise the Lord. You all see, all see that, you know, uh, the nations are divided and the families are scattered and the people are running here and there, you know, we see that, you know, heartbreaking news is that uh, um, uh, families are, you know, they left everything what they uh, gained all his life. And, you know, in that single bag and, you know, the, the, they come to the railway station and uh, some other uh, means they are leaving. You know, the children are going one way, different country, and the wife and the husband are, you know, going. And it's a heartbreaking uh, news we are watching every day. But uh, God, uh, merciful God, give us a... Uh, one more day in our life to come to his presence to with the peacefully and praise him and worship him. I thank Lord for that. I uh, just want to uh, read this. Uh, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a big psalm. So I choose only five verses. And uh, we all know that it's a familiar uh, psalm for all of us. We always read this psalms. The psalm writer David exhorting us to bless the Lord for all his benefits, all his blessings. There are thousands of reasons to bless the Lord, uh, praise the Lord, but he is mentioning only few in this uh, Psalms and, you know, saying that, you know, let's go to uh, uh, Psalms. Verse, verse 3, uh, it says, He forgives all our sins, praise the Lord. We all know that, you know, Jesus forgives our sin. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There is no one in this world or uh, in this uh, earth or heaven that, you know, forgives our sins. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And not only he for, uh, forgives our sin, he forgets our sins too. Once he forgets, you know, he throw away all our sins into the depth of the ocean. That's what the Bible says. Praise the Lord. We always have uh, issues with our families or, you know, brothers and, you know, we... Uh, we forgive them, but, you know, we never forget it. You know, after 30 years or 15 years, 20 years back, you know, it comes like an S cut missile and then you know, fell on you and, uh, uh, you know, say that, oh, okay, you said that, you know, uh, that this, this one, you did that for me, you know, last, you know, years back, you know. So, that is the way, you know, we forgive, but, you know, our God is a God that, you know, forgive and forget our sins. Praise the Lord. The second thing he says... Uh, he heals all our diseases. Praise the Lord. Uh, with, the, with, the, with his stripes we are healed. Our Lord is a uh, healing God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He sent the word and you know, heals our diseases. But the two things is uh, in there that, that depends on that, you know, the, our healing. One is how much faith we have. If we say that, you know, God heal my diseases, say that, you know, maybe it won't work. So, he, how much faith in you have that, you know, my God is a healer, that he can heal my sin. So, if you have that faith, you know, you will be healed. The second thing is, you know, the God's will. Even if you pray, have sick, sick and, you know, you are asking God to heal you, maybe he's not uh, going to heal you because uh, God wants to uh, show that glory through you, that with that sickness. We know that, you know, Paul had that, you know, uh, as thorn on his body and he... Uh, prayed, but you know, God didn't heal him because you know, God wanted to heal the, uh, show his glory through that person. So, same way, you know, sometimes we don't get healing, but our God is a healer. Third thing is that, that he redeemed our life from the pit of sin. Praise the Lord. We were 
in the pit of sin. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But His grace, He lifted up and He put our feet on a solid rock. Praise the Lord. We are like a pig in the mud hole. But uh, he God raised up, He called and you know, separated us. And He you know, put our feet on the rock and you know, gave new songs in our mouth. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And uh, he, the, the fourth thing he's saying that he crowns you with uh, love and compassion. Praise the Lord. Our God is a loving uh, uh, Lord. Uh, his love is uh, everlasting love. He's a, he has an unending love. He has a agape love. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He's a reckless love. Lover. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It doesn't what matter you have. You know, it's a person like you, but he's uh, loving you as a reckless uh, love that he has. And he's a compassionate God. And he's a merciful God. What I say that, you know, is uh, the love and compassion and mercy comes together. It is called is equal to grace. That's the way we, he's covered us. He's, uh, he loved us. And he is compassionate. And he's merciful. And he, that, with all that is called grace. You know, he covered his great uh, grace. Uh, covered, uh, covered us with his grace. Praise the Lord. And um, uh, fifth thing he says. He satisfies your desire with the good things. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We all have uh, uh, desires. Praise the Lord. If you have a good desires, He fulfills our desires with uh, good things. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Many times, you know, we have a lot of uh, desires in our, our heart. You know, we asking uh, uh, God. Sometimes we don't get the reply. That means the, the, the reason is the, our, our desire is not good. That's the reason, you know, uh, we don't get a good uh, um, uh, good answer for that. And the sixth thing he says, and renew your spirit like an eagle's youth. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So uh, David was saying all the six uh, bless, uh, blessings one by one. And he warns us in advance in verse 2, says, do not forget all his benefits. There are chances to forget, forget uh, 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 God's blessings in our life. Uh, when I was reading that, you know, uh, I think David wants uh, sp specifically to the men uh, because the men has the most forgetfulness in their life. Am I right? Yeah, that is right to me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I have heard a joke like this uh, that uh, we celebrate uh, International Women's Day and Men's Day. Uh, it's like a Father's Day and Mother's Day, you know, it is doing that. When was that a uh, uh, woman's day? Last week? Okay, when? What was the date? March 8th. The joke is, you know, actually they they plan for uh, March 6th. But the woman, you know, ladies took two days to get ready for that, you know, so they celebrated, <laughs> celebrated in March 8th. And the same way, the men's uh, uh, day is that, when is that? <laughs> there you go, there you go, that's the answer, okay, it was on November, November uh, 17, it's planned for November 17, but the poor people, you know, forget, and you know, they celebrated in November 19th, so, <laughs> so the joke is, you know, the, the meaning of this joke is, you know, the woman takes more time to get ready, uh, do things, uh, but the men, you know, forget to do things on time. So, uh, when I read this, you know, Psalms, you know, uh, it feels like that, you know, uh, uh, David is, you know, telling the men that, you know, do not forget all his benefits, you know. So, he warning us that, you know, uh, to us. Praise the Lord. It is for all of us, you know, I'm just uh, saying that, you know. So, we, I take it seriously that, you know, the warning. Do not forget his blessings. Um, praise the Lord. And uh, it says, you know, uh, on, the, on the fifth words, uh, it says, you know, he fulfilled our desires. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God never fulfilled our griefs. He always, uh, you know, uh, he never, uh, you know, fulfilled our griefs. But, you know, he fulfilled our deeds and uh, our needs. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. As, as, a, as a children of God, we don't need to ask, you know, we always ask, you know, material things, worldly things, you know, that what we need that. But we don't have to ask that, you know, uh, material thing to God. Praise the Lord. Is any children, you know, get up in the morning, they ask their mom, that mom, can you make breakfast for me? Or, you know, the boys are now ask you that, you know, can I, can you drop me to school? No, because, you know, they know that the father knows that, you know, 
what the, your children need you know so same way our material needs you know god is provided as a children you know if you are a children you say that you know uh, we are a children of god you know that's uh, his responsibility that you know he will provide our needs so we don't have to ask that you know we know that uh, you know the story of um, elijah when he was uh, spiritually uh, mentally and physically he was uh, tired and you know sitting on the um, the brooks of the kerith and he didn't ask for uh, food or you know he didn't ask you know, he didn't pray that you know but god send fresh bread to uh, elijah uh, by by a raven praise the lord hallelujah so when we look on that you know maybe El- elijah might be wonder that and what happening that is you know, a raven is bringing for food for me you know the ravens are looking for you know take your bread from someone's hands you know but you know here elijah is looking you know he's uh, bringing a uh, raven is bringing bread to him so that's the way god works you know so he, uh, you know we yeah, he works you know he he fulfill our desires uh, uh, good desires uh, with our be, uh, over our expectation and um, our uh, um, imagination praise the lord so that time you know we say that it is happened by god and it is marvelous to our eyes but if we need a, on the other hand if we need a, um, our um, uh spiritual need we need to ask god otherwise m- maybe you, you won't get it we know that you know when uh, uh, god was asking to solomon what do you need and he said he can ask you know many things you know that to uh, to for his country but you know he said you know god i need your wisdom to lead your people so solomon knows that you know what has what was his responsibility and what is god authorized him to do that so he asked that you know i need your wisdom to lead your people and david was asking that in our god and uh, i'm asking one thing that i'm seeking for i want to dwell in your presence and to see your be- uh, beauty and the glory of god same way this morning uh, let's ask uh, uh, examine ourselves and uh, uh, make a prayer like this god i need uh, your heavenly wisdom uh to choose the right desires in, uh, in in my heart god i wanted to uh dwell in your presence and see your glory all of my life i want to see your glory in the rest of my life let let it be our prayers this morning uh let's be come back to the verse uh, five again that you know god fulfill our desires with the good things so that your uh your youth is renewed like an eagle's praise the lord he says you know so that you know god is giving all these blessings for us for a reason so we can renew our our mind and our our spirit and you know you will be strengthened like an eagle i want to ask a few questions to the uh, children over here please, parents don't please please don't you know help them uh where is pratyush okay pratyush i want to ask you that uh, you are on the way back huh? praise the lord ha huh? which psalms i was reading today no as a samuel okay come here come here thank you thank you for listening okay you are paying attention thank you uh next question to uh, jonathan what is our national bird yes U- usa national bird of usa yes very good come here bald eagle okay yeah okay what uh what is the other person huh where's nathan okay nathan uh what is our uh, national animal uh-huh uh that is california no it is a national okay joel pratish you want to say answer i don't know okay national animal it says you know it's a okay you want me to uh justice <laughs> okay okay anyway i know it is a hard question okay anyway i want to you know give that gift you know at this is tried out come on come on up here i'd say it says you know bison i look on online it says bison bison is a national animal 
Praise the Lord. Okay. <laughs> I think, you know, okay, you, you all have to pay attention. I think the pastor has more candies in his pocket. So, you all pay attention, okay? Okay. So, what I was trying to say over here I, in the Bible, humans are compared with uh, many, many animals and birds. Uh, it says, um, uh, you know, do, you know can, you, can you say some animals, you know, what, what is says in the, compared to human? Okay. In the Bible, <laughs> that's a revolution. <laughs> okay, it's a lion. Sparrow. Sparrow. Yes. Yeah. Lamb. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Many animals. Okay. If if you say that, you know, it take a whole day to say all these <laughs> names. Okay. It says that. Uh, Okay, dove is one one thing that you know it is showing that you know the cleverness of doving, doves, and um, ants. You know we never you know think about the ants. You know it is a wise wise uh, creature, um, and uh, sheep. Sheep are what representing obedience, obedient, right? Obedient sheep, and wolves. Wolves are, you know, crooked, crookedness, you know. So it's all, all different, you know. Uh, you can say that a lot of them um, uh, comparing to human. But uh, here, David is saying that, you know, uh, comparing with the eagles, our strength, our renew your strength like an eagle's strength. Praise the Lord. Look at how that. Uh, what What are the unique uh, features of uh, features of eagles? Praise the Lord. Uh, Eagles has a long, the first one is the eagle has a long sight. You know that, you know, uh, even though eagles are flying very high altitude, his eyes and the focus is on the ground on a small prey, right? So he's looking on that prey, but you know, people think that, you know, he's flying very high, but you know, he's looking on the uh, ground that, you know, uh, for his food, you know, for the prey. Same way, we are living in this world. Uh, we need uh, everything, we need to do everything and, you know, to, uh, for the survival and uh, we need uh, to do everything for meet our primary needs. But uh, our eyes and our hearts are focused to, should be to God, to, to the heaven. Because we are not belongs to this, this world, we belongs to God and the heaven. So even though we are living this uh, uh, world, our eyes and our heart should be focused on the heaven and uh, and to the God. The second thing that we can learn from eagle that uh, eagles are fearless. Eagles never surrender to the size or strength of its prey. It always give a fight to win over its prey. When you see that, you know, uh, we can see in the TV that, you know, it's uh, eagles are, you know, carrying big snakes and big uh, fishes and, you know, it is maybe bigger size than the, uh, and the eagles. And you know they 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 uh, they fight to win over the prey. In the same sense, we have to boldly fight against this world uh, and sin uh, and the powers of the darkness to win over to lead a victorious Christian life. Praise the Lord. And uh, third thing, eagles are high flyers. Eagles can fly more than ten thousand feet high from the ground. You have noticed that, you know, when uh, when the rain comes, you know, eagles are always on the sky, they're flying. When you look on the other birds, they they hide under the uh, the branches of the trees, big trees, and, you know, they don't want, they don't want to get uh, rain. So, eagles are flying high on that time, and uh, uh, the other birds are, you know, hi hiding under the uh, uh, tree or, uh, or under the bush. What we can learn that, you know, when, uh, when we have the problems in our life, praise the Lord. Uh, it doesn't matter you are a believer or not. You have to go through the problems. You know, when the problem comes, you know, you have to fly over the problems. Don't, the problems I'll, I'll, don't allow the problems to take control on you or defeat you. Fly over the problems and uh, find a shelter uh, and trust in the Lord. Give control to the God to fix your problem. Because the war belongs to the God. Praise the Lord. The fourth point I want to say that in the eagles is eat fresh. Eagles kills and eat. It won't eat 
carcass that are done yeah, dead meat. They always kill and eat. We always, you know, um, boast about our past and uh, I have done this and I have do this and things. But uh, what is your present condition? What is God is looking your present condition? What what you are doing? And uh, where are you? We know that, you know, um, in a book of uh, Genesis, we read that, you know, God was coming down to, uh, you know, Adam and Eve every day, every evening, and he come and, you know, uh, spend time with them, you know, a fellowship with them. But one day, one day, God came down, you know, they could not find uh, Adam and Eve. And God is, God called them, hey, Adam, where are you? And they were hiding behind the tree. So that's what, you know, God is looking, where are you? Are, are your presence uh, with the God? Or you are doing something, God, for right right now. You know what is your present condition? So, um, so always, you know, we we have we have a lot of things to say in the past. You know, we have done you know a lot of things to God. That's true. But uh, we, nobody can break your testimony. That and I'm not say that. You know, uh, nobody can uh, uh, um, blame your testimony or break your testimony. But you know that is true. But God is asking you right now, what you are doing? Where are you? And the last thing that, you know, eagles possess vitality, eagle possess strength. Let's see how, you know, eagles renew their strength. When an eagle reach up to uh, about 30 years, it uh, health starts to deteriorate and uh, become difficult to survive. But, uh, but the eagle never gives up its life. It goes up to the mountain top and sits alone over a period of five months, go through a process called uh, metamorphosis metamorphosis right okay yeah uh, so the what what the eagle does over there that he knocks off his uh, own beak and banging on that rock and you know take out all the old skin or hard uh, skin or cover and take it and you know sharpen his uh, beak and he with that sharpened beak, you know, he pulled out his uh, talons and uh, uh, feathers, uh, take it, take, pull it out, and, you know, they stay there. And every, every time, uh, yeah, that, that process, the stages of process, regrowth, and they remove their parts, you know. When you, when you pick it up, you know, the talons and feathers, after some time, it is going to come the new ones. And he got uh, strengthened that way. That that same eagle can could live another thirty to forty years more. So, so as we are looking on this uh, uh, this bird, what we we can learn a lot of from it. So let's examine ourselves this morning. What deteriorates our spiritual health? It may be a bad habit, maybe a bad uh, uh, practices, maybe it's our unbelief, maybe a influence of substance or the influence of people whatever it may be ask god that you know god give up give me the strength to give up give it up and you know hold up what makes our spiritual health increase so are we uh, uh, when we uh, when we look back examine ourselves ask ourselves that you know lord um uh, uh, are we are we looking looking only the worldly things are, are, are we short sighted you can looking only around you, or are you are you looking focusing on on the heaven, on or or, or to the heaven, or looking uh, looking to God? What what uh, what it need to strengthen your spiritual life? You look on that God's face. Praise the Lord. So when we when we go through troubles troublesome situation, are you leaning your own understanding or give the problems to God? God's hand who can fix our problems. So I wanted to connect this verse with a, another verse that uh, uh, the book of uh, Isaiah chapter 40 verse 28 to 31. It's also familiar verses. I don't want to read all this that you know when you have a chance you know read it. It says you know God is speaking uh, uh, or exalting the Israels through prophet Isaiah when they were tired and weary in, in their spirit. It says, uh, uh, it's verse 29, I think. Uh, but those who wait upon the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagle. They will run, 
they will run not grow weary they will walk and not be faint praise the lord this and uh, of this word uh, we can ask that you know examine ourselves uh, are, are you feel tired or weak in your spirit you connect with the god put a hope in him he will strengthen you not only to walk but to run to win our race may god bless you with these words